heard of flying by the seat of your pants? Well, today, not only am I flying by the seat of my pants getting in here because I got a lot going on, but there seems to be a Delta 747 in the studio, and you might hear a little buzz, and the little buzz because there's a lot going on today in the world of apples. And you see these beautiful apples? These are compliments of RNA orchards in LJ. Today we're going to share some footage of their crops, their fields, their labor, their love for this community. Each and every apple house that we serve in this community has great stuff happening right now and we want you to be a part of that. We want you to get out and buy their jams, buy their jellies, buy their fried apple pies, get some of those awesome donuts. Get out in the communities that we serve and help them celebrate. I have been looking frantically for some footage of me and Miss Adele Mercier. We shot a show there many, many, many years ago. It was a live show and I will find it. It will take a while. We want to honor every apple grower. We want to honor everybody who has worked as farmers in these communities, in these mountains, making it all that it can possibly be. This is the weekend that we begin to shine. And this weekend, October 6th through the 14th, the fall festival is going to be happening in Hiawassee. And when it happens in Hiawassee, it means it happens all over Georgia because y'all are going to be filling the roads with your cars, your trucks, your campers, your big old RVs, and you're going to be running up and down the road. So it's going to be really, really cool. We're going to share some photos today with you. We're going to share music from last year's Apple Festival. We're going to share so many things that are going on. And one of my favorite things that's going to be happening is in the town of Ball Ground. Ball Ground Rocks will be happening this weekend, and Ball Ground will be rocking with music and vendors and food trucks and lots of things going on. But the thing that I want to encourage you to do, and I'm not going to beg y'all to do this, but I am going to ask you nicely. Would you please go to the Ball Ground Garden Club Facebook page and vote for the Biscuit Maker. The Biscuit Maker is the scarecrow that was done honoring the ladies at the Shell Gas Station in, in Ball Ground. It's on Old Highway 5. These ladies make these amazing biscuits seven days a week, and they are so yummy, and everybody loves them, and I just wanted to give them a little shout out for all that hard work and all that lard and cooking and flour and a milking and a making them biscuits. And so please go to the Ball Ground Garden Club. I would love to see our little lady win. She's holding a bag of white lily, a can of Crisco, and she has her homemade bread bowl. So please go by. She is sitting in front of our office and uh, there are 40 scarecrow entries. And there are a lot of really, really cool ones, but there's nothing as sweet as the biscuit maker, so y'all need to vote for her. Yeah, have I got an edge on this? Yeah, because I, I kind of made her and I like her, so, so get out and vote for her. Now, let's talk about apples. These apples are ambrosia. This is the first year I've had ambrosia apples. I usually use a Granny Smith because I like them. I like these better. I love these apples, and so today we're going to share a little bit of apple country with you. We're going to share a whole lot about what's going on in our communities, and what's happening in our communities is we are growing, and I have some photos I want to share, and one of them is, is, is of a house in Morganton that we have on the market. We're going to share that with you in just a little bit. We have... Um, land for sale. We have a six acre track that would be absolutely beautiful. You to build your new home. You could put your RV on the property while you're waiting and building your home. It is 1.1 mile from Lake Blue Ridge. We have a 29 acre track in Jasper that is absolutely beautiful. It is so quiet. So it's so weird because we were out there yesterday. We went four wheeling. We went hiking. We went everywhere. We didn't see the first snake, and I was so excited I couldn't stand it. Did see lots and lots of deer tracks, but if you're looking for 29 acres, this is, this is listed under $300,000, and it is 29 acres. It has a creek through it. 
It is absolutely beautiful and it has a breathtaking spot to build your house. That's what it's about. Getting out and enjoying and falling in love with these mountains. Remember what I say? The mountains are calling and they are closer than you think. If you're living in Woodstock, if you're living in Kennesaw and you're fighting the traffic and you're sick of it, come up here to the mountains and let us sell you a nice, nice little quaint home. We have houses on the market right now from in the low to mid threes to the million two, million three. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? In the near future, we're going to have some great things happening in Ball Ground. We're very, very excited. Ball Ground is really looking like something besides a town with vacant buildings, and we love this. There are only a couple of vacant buildings now, and we'd love to see those filled with something fun. If you haven't been downtown and you haven't done the walk behind Dominic's Pizza Place, there is an art gallery there that works with veterans and works with um, a lot of special needs people and they offer art classes, they offer a, it's a, a, a program of ministry, just amazing, amazing things and that again is right behind Dominic's. So stop by and see it and today we're going to get a lot of footage of downtown Ball Ground. So if you're in Ball Ground, put your best foot forward because we're going to be there today shooting a special just honoring the towns that we serve because it is about these cities. This year, Santa will be gracing the streets of Ball Ground. This is his 50th anniversary. It is very, very important. It is very, very special. This is 50 years, and this is the year that he was diagnosed with cancer. He is doing very, very well. Santa will be delivering presents. He will be visiting with children, and Santa is doing great. So just think about God's grace and His mercy and His blessings because we weren't sure what was going to happen. But the parade and ball ground this year will be on December the 1st. And if you haven't been, come this year. Let's celebrate the big 5-0 because it is going to be a big to-do. And we want to honor Mr. and Mrs. Claus. So please come out and be with us this weekend. Get to ball ground early. Get to Ball Ground early. The area right around Calvin Farmer Park will be blocked off and there will be food trucks and jumping, jumping thingamadoodles. What do you call those things? Bounce houses. There'll be all, th all kinds of things going on for children. It will be a family-friendly event and all the businesses in downtown will be either offering some kind of specials or getting in on the fun. So come to downtown Ball Ground. And again, that is all day Saturday. And yes, Ball Ground will be rocking. There will also be some music and you will hear it all over town. So, so there you go. We're going to show you some photos of fall. Do we have those ready now? Nope. Nope. Okay. We're still working on it. All right. Um, you know, when we look at the events that are happening in the fall, we have Labor Day, get through Labor Day, and then you go into Veterans Day. Veterans Day is that day that we salute everybody. I'm very fortunate to be working with a group of folks who are trying to put together a deal. We are going to, hopefully, we have 90 days to do this. If this happens, this will be a beautiful, beautiful place for veterans to retreat, to revitalize, and to refresh and if it works it will be the most amazing thing to ever be in North Georgia and we are very very excited and it is something it is a way of giving back and um, our clients came down from Virginia love the property and love the idea of giving back I think that's something we all need to learn that we can do for others or we can sit back and do for ourselves and what do you think pays off the most I kind of think doing for others pays off better so so today, get out and do something for somebody else. If you're going by the Apple House, why don't you pick up five pounds extra and take to a neighbor who maybe can't get out and go. If you're stopping by somewhere for lunch, why don't you pick up a plate and take it to a, a, maybe a neighbor who doesn't get out much. We can all do something for somebody else. And um, in the near future, we're going to be seeing the fall will happen. It will be absolutely beautiful. Then winter will set in, and sadly, many people will be depressed. Winter is that time when it's dark, it's cold, and it's gloomy, and often depression sets in. So if you're battling depression, please join a group, a self-help group. Join in and talk to people and get to know somebody else who's dealt with the same problem and possibly came out of it. So there are many, many reasons that you get down and out, but winter always seems to make it worse. Now we've got some photos, and this is... In my opinion, a 35 years of selling real estate, 
This is probably my favorite spot. This is Tails Creek. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It flows mighty, it flows heavy, it flows hard, but it doesn't get out of its banks. It knows it's raising and it stays right where it's supposed to stay. It is absolutely beautiful. Tails Creek is one of the prettiest places and often a hidden secret for LJ. A lot of people don't have access to it, but this happens to be one of the most beautiful properties in North Georgia, and it is absolutely gorgeous on Tails Creek. Now, these are some of the shots that last year, um, Tim started working a year ago to get ready for the special that Dwight is gonna produce in the near future. These are a lot of the shots that were taken for that and not sure what they're gonna decide on for an inside cover or, or for the cover, I don't have a clue. They'll just go through it and they'll choose. And, and you know how guys do, they'll get together and wanna to like this thing, wanna like that thing, then they'll finally decide on something. But these are some shots, these were on Fort Mountain. If you have not crossed Fort Mountain lately, go and do it. The leaves are just beginning to turn, but they are turning a little bit and you need to get out and get to know the areas that we serve. You can go across 52 West and end up in Chatsworth. If you're in Chatsworth, please make time and, and plan it around going to a visit to the Chief Van House and learn a little bit about the Cherokee Indian history. That's something else that is often forgotten. We forget that the Chief Van House is that close to us and you should go maybe go yearly and, and just each time you go, you learn a little bit more about the history. So that's part of it. And all these shots are off Fort Mountain. And again, it is just one of those things. It's free to everybody. You just drive across Fort Mountain. You enjoy it. You ride through. You can go by the lake. You can stop and visit. It is just absolutely amazing. But that is part of what makes North Georgia so wonderful. We are blessed with God's beauty, God's bounty, and it doesn't cost us anything except a little gas to get there. So how really cool is that? How really, really cool is that? And um, we are very fortunate, very, very fortunate. Now we're gonna share something that we did a long, long time ago with y'all, and it's some footage from r &A Orchard where we did a live event. And it was crazy because it seems like it was yesterday and it was a long, long time ago. And when I look at the audience and I think of all the people who have gone on, every single day we lose somebody. Yesterday was my sister's first birthday in heaven. And it was a very hard day for me. And um, I stayed super, super busy yesterday. I did some crazy stuff just to keep my mind off of it because she was that call. She was that one person that I could trust and I could depend on and she was always there. And she's with Jesus now. And so it's, it's kind of a hard time, but we're gonna get through it. I heard from her, her husband last night, Charles, who is a wonderful, wonderful man. And he said, I've cried all day and I miss her so much. Yep, we will. We will miss those we love, but we'll see them again. So now can we get the RNA footage up and let's show those. And we want to remind y'all, RNA is out on 52 East. Uh, as many of the Apple houses are, check out all of the Apple houses in the communities and find out something. Each one of them has something different. They have different apple butters. They have different pies. They all do different cakes. They do a different variety get out and get to know all of the apple houses because they are truly what made apple country, apple country. So here we go. Hey y'all, welcome to Ella J, where we are in the middle of apple country. We are in apple country because it is apple season. We are at the best apple house in North Georgia. In my opinion, I do love these folks, r and Orchards been in business for many many years generational family business and this is where you get those amazing amazing fried pies this is where you get that great apple bread this is where you get apple cider donuts this is where you fill up on these amazing amazing pies and I can tell you you can place a special order and you can get some cakes done too they do amazing amazing things again a family business generational, been here forever, and everybody loves a trip to RNA Orchards. If you haven't been to RNA Orchards, they're on Highway 52 East, about six miles out of downtown LJ. We welcome you to come and visit. 
and get to know apple country. This is truly apple country, and it is where those apples come off those trees fresh and ready for you to cook, to can, to serve, and remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Get out to r &A Orchards and get to know a little bit about these nice people and uh, stop in and tell the folks family hello. Great generations of hard-working folks have been here a long, long time. They would welcome you to come and visit and to taste these beautiful apples. this rain it's been a godsend it has been a godsend and we have prayed for rain our governor said pray for rain we did and it has been a great spring and now a really good summer yes we're having a wonderful year got a wonderful crop of fruit and everything looks good and we have to say the two little ones sitting in your lap are fourth generation rna orchards that is correct and it started with first generation Ann's parents right in what year 47 1947, 1947. <laughs> before I was born. Well, <laughs> I'll just go ahead sure? and tell you, it was right before I was born, too. <laughs> well, you know what? Can you imagine that your children got to stay at home and work and they've never had to go into the city? They've never had to look for employment. They had it. They had it. Isn't that wonderful? That's a blessing. Of course, it's hard work. It is hard work. It is hard work. And I have to say, the precious child sitting in your lap makes a mean peach cobbler. Yep. Somebody told me that it was really good, and I think Papa said that last time she made one, Daddy ate the whole thing. Did Daddy eat the whole thing? I ate every bit. <laughs> that is amazing. How old are you, eight years old? Eight. And who taught you to cook? My mom. Your mom. Isn't that cool? Now, not many eight-year-olds can cook. Do you help here on the farm otherwise? Yes. You pick peaches? Yes. Squash? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a squash casserole? No. No, I love squash. I want to know what she likes better, peaches or apples? Both. You, Both. Don't, you don't have Both. a favorite? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. There's no bad season at r &A Orchards, is there? As to who taught her to drive a truck and a tractor? Somebody told me very young you learned to drive a truck and a tractor. Who taught you? My dad. Your dad. Did Papa have a little bit to do with that, too? I thought he might. Now, the RNA stands for a certain something, and it's a family name, isn't it? <clears throat> when you, you are the fourth generation, do you think the fifth generation will continue that name? I but think if so. If they do, they have to put another letter on there. RNA uh, and then some? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> RNA and Jessica, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's Amanda. Where's Jessica? Right. That's Jessica. <laughs> and that is Anna Grace. That's right. <laughs> That's Oh, it's like Tender Care. Y'all yeah. should have worn name tags. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Now, Roger, when you married Ann, did you think this is where you'd spend your life? Had no clue. <laughs> you came up here and thought City Slicker's gonna get yeah. up here and just get him a cushy job, didn't yeah. you? Well, see, Ann, Ann didn't want to move back. I'm the one wanting to move back. Really? But, but uh, uh, you know, the Lord's been good to us. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So. And this has been a phenomenal year for all your fruits and vegetables. Right. It's just right. been great. I was out here about three weeks ago taking pictures, and we were very lucky because that was a very hot time. But everything was beautiful, and so far so good. Everything's done well, hadn't it? There was no frost, no freeze to damage anything well, this year. The, the good Lord's blessed us so far, so we just keep praying that, mm -hmm. that he'll continue to bless because, you know, with the afternoon thunderstorms, you worry about Oh, yeah, hail, the damage. Oh, yeah. How much rain did y'all get yesterday, Andy? We got three inches. Wow, I knew. I sat in Gilmer County for over an hour waiting to drive home. Anybody who knows me knows I don't drive in the rain much. <laughs> and that wasn't just normal rain yesterday. It was pretty tough. It was pretty so, a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. I sat there a long time waiting on it to kind of die down. And I figured it was getting about an inch an hour. So, yeah. Now, did that damage anything? Are you okay with that? Well, everything's pretty much all right. You know, it's we. You know, we had a little wind, lost uh -huh. a little bit of fruit on the ground, but, every, you know, other than that, everything's Everything fine. was good. Well, I went up to Epworth after that, or before that, and took a picture, and corn was laying on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, the stalks were laying down, mm -hmm. so it had really, they had a lot of wind. Yeah. So, and that was something, the wind uptown when I was sitting there was going sideways, and yeah. the rain was going sideways. That's pretty damaging sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Now, what are you picking right now? Well, we're picking... Uh, Right today, we're picking Red Haven peaches, early lawn peaches. Uh, we're going to pick beans today. We're, you know, we, of course, we pick cucumbers, squash. Andy, if you hurry up and pick them, all these ladies can string them. Yeah. I've never had a string bean party. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a great idea? Yeah. Hey, maybe Instead of a quilt and bean, a string Well, listen, y'all just get some bushels of beans and hand them out, and everybody can start stringing beans. That is so cool. Right. Now, do the girls, what a life for children. What an awesome life for children. Do they know how much they have to appreciate this life? Because they are very blessed. Well, I think they, I think they enjoy it. And they like to come to the Apple House. And uh, Jessica and Amanda both, they like to go out in the orchard and pick peaches and work. And so we, well, I enjoy it. And when does Jessica get to start driving? Uh, let's see. <laughs> next she, year. Next year. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a few more. <laughs> Uh oh, Granny has spoken. <laughs> you have a hard. If I was their age, you'd have a hard time keeping me out of the ice cream freezer. Uh -huh. well, they, they do. They do. <laughs> they have ice cream every day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what a great life. They can run around barefooted. They can see the soil. They can watch everything from start to finish. Are there ever days that y'all just get so tired? You think, man, why am I doing this seven days a week? Well, sometimes, sometimes you get a little down and out, but you know. I always try to remember that I'm blessed Absolutely. and I'm able to get up every morning and do what I love. Right. So, you know, I, I enjoy it. You know, when you think about it, you really don't have a boss to deal with. Well, uh -huh. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on this. <laughs> what does that R stand for? <laughs> You know, What'd you know, you, you know what you're doing, and you've got it together, and and y'all have built a wonderful, successful business. And I have to say, this time last year, we would not have done a live show here. You know why? It wasn't air conditioned. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Today it is air conditioned, That's and right. it is wonderful. You have great food here. I know that the chicken and dumplings are world famous because are they your mama's recipe? No. Whose recipe is? I just throwed it together. You threw it? That's like my recipe. See? Well, I know people stop here every day and have lunch. A great place to just chill, have lunch. Some people stop and get their food to take with them to their jobs because you have quick sandwiches. So it's just a great, and, and you are, how many miles from Amicalola Falls are you? We're about 12, 14 miles, something like okay, that. Okay, and four and a half miles from downtown LJ. Four and a half miles from LJ. So people could come out on their lunch hours, as far oh, as yeah. that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. hang out with you. And you have quite a few seats here that we happen to have full to the max. Did you notice we're out of chairs and we're still waiting on chairs? <laughs> yes, I noticed that. What are we going to do about that? You know, <laughs> <laughs> we got to get some chairs in here. Well, this is a great day for r &A, but it is a great day for Gilmer County. This area welcomes people, and I have met some of the nice and nicest people on this program because they came here, they visited, they love the atmosphere, they love the warmth. And there's such a warmth in this community. There is such a warmth. 
And um, we're going to share some of the blessings that um, Natural God Given Talent. We're going to have some local folks come on and sing. We're going to have, um, when we leave with y'all now, we're going to have a little little something about farming that I think you'll both enjoy. And um, I'm not going to cry when I hear it today. It's just a great, <laughs> great something. We are very blessed that God has taken care of all of us. Oh, yeah. And I, so, I want to say I appreciate you coming out doing the this show This has for been us. so much fun. I've looked so forward to it. This and is we're great. we're glad to have everybody that's here today. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's wonderful. And don't forget how to get here because every week you have different things coming in, don't you? Oh, yeah. You? We change, um, like on peaches, we pretty much change varieties every week. And with our vegetables, you know, we're picking fresh stuff every day. Mm -hmm. We pick peaches every day, weather permitting. We're going to tell everybody how you and I went to the orchard. <laughs> <laughs> I came and I said, I need to take some pictures. And he said, okay. And he said, get in that truck. And I looked at that truck and I said, Bubba, does that thing have air conditioning? And he said, no. And I said, well, you get in the black widow wagon. <laughs> so we drove through the orchard Sweet. in the widow wagon. <laughs> Later, fine. <laughs> we did, we did, we did. Well, thank you for opening Sherry, your Sherry, door Sherry, before today. you go, let, 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 me, let me say one thing, because nobody's, I'm going to let a little secret out uh, to the TV audience that we're real proud of. Uh -huh. We got a new, uh, uh, another grandbaby on the way. I knew so. that. I knew that. <laughs> I Yay. Yay. <laughs> and we're, real, we're real proud about that. And I would like to say, too, for, for everybody, I, I, I'm just blessed, blessed to have my children involved. And Andy and Jennifer does an excellent job running the Apple House. And we're just proud that you came Me and their boss is a pretty easy job, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I just tell Andy <laughs> every day, you know, he says I can tell him enough to do in looking five minutes. <laughs> but, I'm, you know, I am... Just real thankful that that we we do work together as a family. And, That's right. And you're very fortunate. Right. Very fortunate. And and you're proud of my on, grandchildren. Bringing on the fourth generation. So yeah. that is, yeah. that is amazing, and it is a wonderful success story. Yeah. And also, I'd like to say I appreciate all of our help that help us here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And we got a good bunch of people. And makes a world of difference. Yeah. That's why ETC works. We have a family of people working together never hit i mean we always get it right we you know if somebody needs something we go to them it's just kind of and that's what this community is about it's what this community is about well i love you all and thank you so much for opening your doors to us this is this is gonna be oh it may rival with my favorite show ever <laughs> <laughs> first now sherry we do have a, a daughter a andy's our oldest son uh -huh. and, and Rhonda is our daughter but she always said she wanted to go to school and work with her uh, mind. mind instead of her body because of course Andy's got a mind too uh -huh. and um, but he likes he likes, he likes farming. <laughs> well what a great life he's chosen what a great life now we're going to take a break and we're going to go to the community calendar and when we come back we're going to hear a little something about farming that I think will touch everybody Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ballground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third-generation race car driver, and we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. 
It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. The ETC Game of the Week is back again this football season. Watch your local teams go head-to-head -head each week only on ETC TV3. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. show you one of my favorite places. One of my favorite places happens to be Morganton, Georgia. And not many people know that Morganton, Georgia even exists, but it does. It's right off 515. It's between Blue Ridge and Blairsville, and it is just a beautiful, beautiful place. And it is one of those things. It is a hidden gem. It is a hidden secret. Well, it's no secret anymore because it's on FMLS today. We have a brick home with just five and a half acres and a five car garage and it is 1.1 mile to Lake Blue Ridge. It has just been appraised and it appraised for 458 and guess what? We put it on the market at 449.9. That means you walk into your home and that picture of that tree is in that yard. So think about if you buy it quick enough, you'll get to own it when that tree turns that color because that's in the driveway of that house. I love this property, I love this family, and it is an honor to be able to serve them and help them settle an estate. So um, if you are looking for, this is a fixer-upper because it needs to have the interior done to your likes. You know, change it to black and white, change it to whatever colors you want inside. We've already taken up a bunch of the carpet, has beautiful hardwood floors. Now that, my friends, is my favorite fall thing. Biscuits in an iron skillet, and some Ingalls Premium Select Bacon. That is like my favorite thing on a fall morning. That's when you know that fall is here. And you hear the gravy stirring in the pan as you're getting it ready to serve. Fall is the best time in the world to get out and get to know these mountains. Um, you see things that you've never seen. Now there's the property that we have on the market. And it, get, it comes with over five acres. And then we have an additional track that is just barely under six acres beside it that already has a septic tank in place. So 1.1 miles from Lake Blue Ridge, y'all. This is when we were having an estate sale and you can tell we had a bunch of stuff out there. The stuff is gone now, y'all. The stuff is gone, it's gone, it's gone. So the house is available, it has a new roof. It is absolutely fantastic. He was a welder, had a welding shop there. Plenty of space, park your RV, park your boats inside, park your cars inside. It is amazing, it is absolutely amazing. And it is on the market at just under 8,000 less than appraised value. So check that out. Now, we're going to take you truly to Apple Country because we happen to have footage of the Apple Festival. And it's because Brett Cantrell, local boy, Dwight Sanford, local old man, <laughs> he'll kill me for that, local old guy, loves doing local stuff. Local music, country music, bluegrass, picking and grinning, that's what it's about. That's part of what happens at the Apple Festival. So we're going to share a little bit of the footage that the guys put together. I have no idea what you're going to get to see. I trust these boys. I trust them completely. I actually let them do something in here that I may live to regret. We'll see. It may come out super funny and it may come out crazy. But I love being able to have, these boys are very, 
what is the word, not artsy, but they're very creative and they kind of look at a different angle of things. And so I've got the old version of the angle. They got the young version of the angle and we put it together and most of the time it works. So you're gonna go now to the Apple Festival. You don't have to get out in the traffic. You don't have to find a place to park and you don't have to sit on those bleachers and sweat. We're gonna bring it to you. So here we go with some really good local music. Good evening, folks. It's that time again. Were any of you here for the last show? Good, I can play the same songs. My name's Dwight Sanford. Some call me Mr. LJ. I'm not sure how that all got started, but I'll take it because I've been called much worse. I remember to this day the bright red Georgia clay and how it stuck to the tires after the summer rain. Will Power made that old car go. A woman's mind told me that so. I gotta get away and get back on the road again. Traveling and a living off the land. Me and you and a dog named Boo. How I love being a free man. Now I can still recall the wheat fields of St. Paul. And the morning we got caught driving from an old hen. Old McDonald's. Then he paid us for what it was worth Another tank of gas and back on the road again Me and you and a dog named Boo Traveling and a living off the land Me and you and a dog named Boo How I love being a free man Well, I'll never forget the day we motored stately into big L.A. When the lights of the city put settling down in my brain. Though it's only been a month or so, that old car commenced to go. Another tank of gas and back on the road again. the land me and you and a dog named boo how i love being a free man there's one thank you I don't know if I can recover. How can we be friends if we can't be lovers? It's killing me thinking of you with him. Call it pride, call it 
stubborn, but I won't give up till I know there's no other way to start all over again. Cause there's just so much one man can take, even the strongest heart can break. When the tears start to roll, it's like trying to hold back the sea. But I won't give up, you know how I am. I'll fight till I fall and make one more stand. How can I lose? fighting for you. Cause there's just so much one man can take even the strongest heart can break when the tears start to roll it's like trying to hold back the sea but i won't give up you know how i am i'll fight till i fall and make one more stand how can I lose fighting for you? There's another one. All right, you're getting a little taste of what the Apple Festival is like, and I don't know who's going to be entertaining this year, but I can tell you it will be fun, and it will be good, and you will get to see. You see these? These are ambrosia, ambrosia apples. I think they got the name because it's a combination of a bunch of stuff because that's what ambrosia salad is, so I think that's it. They are crisp, they are fresh, they are amazing, and these came from RNA Orchards. All of the orchard houses feature different orchards and you can stop at any and all of them. I'll just tell you, I got my favorite because if it weren't for the owners of RNA Orchards, I wouldn't be sitting here today. I wouldn't have been sitting here. Do you know how many years it's been since I've been a sitting here? Holy cow. And I told Aaron the other day, they've got some good cameras here and they got some good drones. They could get two drone shots if I fall over dead live on TV. They can get some amazing shots of this. They laughed at me and said, no, you're not going to do that. I don't know how much longer I'm going to work. I think I'm going to work as long as, you know, I can. I love it. I love coming into your homes. I love spending time with y'all. But I love getting to see you out in the public. So I'm going to invite each and every one of you to come down to Ball Ground this weekend. Ball Ground Rocks will be happening in Calvin Farmer Park around that area. But all of downtown Ball Ground will be open. I will be at our office all day Saturday. I would love for you to stop by. There's a rumor that there will be peach cobbler and ice cream there. There's a rumor that these apples will be there and you will get to enjoy an apple. There's a rumor that we're going to be sharing a new beautiful development that is coming to Ball Ground, Georgia. We want you to get out and get to know all the tiny towns that we serve. And I'm going to give you a list of the things that are going to be happening in the communities. The Scarecrow Contest in Ball Ground is up and running. We have 40 entries, and of course, ETC has an entry, and the Biscuit Maker Shell has an entry. I would love to see you vote for those two. Those are my two favorite. I love Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. I made her dress. I handmade her dress because I don't have a sewing machine anymore, so I made her dress get real. And then Evelyn painted her face, and she's beautiful, and she's precious. And then we have a very special little something, a little house that came from an estate sale we went to. And the rest, the rest of the story is there's a yellow brick road, so you follow the yellow brick road. 
There's no place like home. We would love for Ball Ground to become your home. If you haven't been to Ball Ground lately, please get out and come to see us and get to know us. And Trace, do we have that footage of the Ball Ground um, Festival? Can we do that? So we're going to do that next. I want you to see just how much Ball Ground is growing, but I want to remind you, put it on your calendar December the 1st. Come to Ball Ground for our Christmas parade. It is by far the best in North Georgia, and it is our 50th, so we would love to see you out there. But this weekend, Jasper is going to shine and shine big time because it is Georgia Marvel Festival time. Go to Jasper and go to Ball Ground this weekend. Those are, those are my marching orders for y'all. And then in the next coming weeks, there's going to be the, the Talking Rock Heritage Cherry Log Festival, the Apple Festival, the Sorghum Festival in Blairsville, and the Moonshine Festival in Dawsonville. All of those are going to be places that you are going to want to go. You're going to want to spend some time in all those tiny towns. Do you know how you get there? Well, if you want to, you can go on the road with all these people on 515, or you can do what Sherry does. And what does Sherry do? The back roads. The back roads. So get out there and do it. Spend some time getting to know these tiny towns. And I just have this feeling that some of y'all are going to pick up the phone and call and say, Hey, is this Evelyn? Hey, is this Sherry? Could we come and see a house? And we'd love to show you a house because that's what we do. There truly is the perfect place waiting for you in these beautiful mountains. There's so many amazing realtors who would love to serve you, and, and we would love to see y'all. And Come up and just visit. Maybe buy yourself a second home and retire here later. And speaking of retiring later, yesterday we met a really, really nice guy who took us on a total tour of some land that was pretty rough terrain, and it was so much fun, and, and thank you, um, Mr. Stone, for doing that. That was awesome, and it was wonderful. So... You get out in these mountains and you just find people from everywhere. He's not from around here, as my granny'd say, but he loves being here. So we're going to take you now to a little trip in downtown Ball Ground, and then we're going to bring you back to some more of the wonderful music from the Apple Festival. Here we go.
You ever heard of Peter, Paul, and Mary? Well, this is Paul. Paul Stuckey. He is now to be among you at the calling of your heart. Rest assured this troubadour is acting on his part. The union of your spirit here has caused him to remain. Whenever two or more of you have gathered in his name there is love there is love well a man must leave his mother and a woman leave her home they will travel on to where the two shall be as one as it was in the beginning it's now until the end woman draws her life from man and gives it back again there is love there is love Wilden wants to be the reason for becoming man and wife. Is it love that brings you here or love that brings you life? Well, if loving is the answer, then who's the giving for? Do you believe in something? You've never seen before. There is love. There is love. Mm -hmm. Be wondering why is he still doing this at his age? Is that what you're wondering? I don't know, it's a passion or something. And the main reason I do it is because I give all the money I make playing music to the Shiner's Children's Hospital, and part of it this year to the Lions special friends. So there's my do it. Uptown got its hustlers, the Bowery got its bums. 42nd Street got Big Jim Walker, he's a blue shooting son of a gun. Yeah, he's big and dumb as a band can come, but he's stronger than a country house. And when the bad folks all get together at night, you know they all call Big Jim Boss just because he said to. You don't tug on Superman's cape, you don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger and you don't mess around with Sam. I do, 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 do. From out of South Alabama come a country boy said he was looking for a man named Slim. I'm a pool shooting boy, my name is Willie McCoy, but down home they call me Slim. 
Yeah, he was looking for the gang on 42nd Street Driving a drop-top Cadillac And last week he took all my money And it may sound funny But I come to get my money back Everybody said, Jack, don't you know You don't tug on Superman's cape You don't spit into the wind you don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger and you don't mess around with Slim. Well, a hush fell over the pool room when Jimmy come bopping in off the street. And when the cutting was done, the only part that wasn't buddy was the soles of the big man's feet. Yeah, he was cutting about a hundred places and he was stabbed in a couple more. And you'd better believe they found a different kind of story when Big Jim hit the floor. Everybody said, Jack, don't you know? You don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger. And you don't mess around with us now. Yeah, Big Jim learned out where it's at. You don't mess with that bunch from Alabama. Even if you do got a two-piece custom-built pool cue. They say you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger. And you don't mess around with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.